In addition to surveys and polls, you can also create quizzes in Microsoft Forms. To start, log into your Microsoft 365 account. Use the Microsoft 365 App Launcher to find Microsoft Forms. Or, in your browser, go to forms.microsoft.com. To learn how to get started with Microsoft Forms, click the link above or look in the description below for links to the videos in this series. Here's an example of a simple form that we'll be building. In Forms, we're often creating a survey or poll that can be useful for surveying our customers, employees, or prospects. But with a quiz, which is also a form, it's typically used in education or for testing knowledge from a training course. So in addition to all of the standard forms features, quizzes are different from other forms in a few ways. First of all, it's set up to have only one response per person. And by default, the responses are not anonymous. You can add comments next to the answers to provide feedback. So for instance, for these various answers here, if I click into this, here I have a message that will only display if they pick the correct answer here. I might also add other notes for those answers that don't match. And each of these questions is given a point value, which is up to you, and these will total up for the final score. Notice once again here, the indication of which are the correct answers, how many points are assigned here. Let's build this from scratch. I'll move back to forms. From forms, we choose new quiz. Naming helps distinguish this from other surveys that you have in Microsoft Forms. Here I'll add an image, and that looks like a good one. Images can also be added to specific questions. Now I'm ready to start adding the questions. Notice the AI-generated recommended questions. Any of these would be a possibility here, but I'll close this for right now and add my own, which is choice. Once again, I can add an image. Notice as well that I could copy any questions and even delete one that I've changed my mind about. Here I'll add those possible answers. Now in this case, only one of these is the closest answer, so I won't use multiple answers. I'll assign this question to five points if it is correct. And as we hover over this, notice the messages for those who choose that particular answer. So for some questions, it may be helpful to address when it's incorrect. For this, I'll only put this in for those who pick the correct answer. Do we indicate which is the correct one? Move to the checkbox. Let's add another question. This is also choice, but will allow multiple answers. I want two more options, so I'll add those in. And one more, which is all of the above. Which ones are correct? Slicer, auto filter, and timeline. Because I've set it to multiple answers, I could limit how many options are selected. We'll leave this to be flexible. Once again, five points, but this could be changed as well. Now that's all I want for that quiz. We'll move to our settings, that's our three dots. It's always good to view those because a quiz allows for a practice mode. And as this might be helpful as people are preparing for a certification or other types of exams where it might be in a practice mode just so that they can test out their answers. Who can fill out this form? As with other forms, you have options in terms of how that information is handled and review these answers to see what fits for this quiz. We'll close it. Let's look at our style here. Once again, a lot of flexibility. We could pick different backgrounds for this. Since we already added an image, I think that'll work just fine. Let's preview. What does this quiz look like? First, we'll see that this information will be recorded. And we have the first question. And let's say that I pick this and submit. Because I'm in practice mode, <laughs> we get to have, show me the correct answer. All right. So now we'll go ahead and move forward and skip. And what are the correct answers here? And I can submit. And then we get to feedback. Yay, good job. So I'll complete the practice.
We can save the response, recap the questions. For now, we'll move back. Additionally, in the preview, you could choose to see it in the mobile version. So that's a good way to test it to make sure that it's still readable and engaging, regardless of the device that might be used. And finally, we'll collect responses. Here I have the option to create a link, send an invitation, a QR code, or create the code to be embedded in a website. For this, it will be internal only, but let's shorten the URL and copy the link. I'll drop this into an email and send it on its way. Once the quiz is completed, you'll see those answers in the responses. We have all of one response because we tested this out, but we're able to see, oops, wrong answer, but here's the correct one. And so this can give us additional information and be helpful for us, especially if we have a number of responses for this quiz. Here's my quiz and forms. If I want to review the responses or to edit it, simply click on it to open it. In addition to the choice questions, we can add other types of questions to this quiz. To learn more about the different question options, look for my link in the description on creating multiple part forms. How will you use the quiz feature in Microsoft Forms? To learn more ways to be productive with Microsoft Forms or to join my free tips newsletter, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash forms. If this training was helpful, please subscribe to this channel for other time-saving software tips. Thanks for watching.